Welcome back everyone. So, we are looking at the month of October. Now, down below, I have three decks. Your job is to pick a deck. We have my green one, we have an oracle deck here, and we have my cat tarot. So, pick a deck that resonates with you, and I'll be picking a few cards to represent your month. So we're going to start with Old Faithful first. Old Faithful. We've got a pretty balanced October for you guys. So we have Poetical Justice, Ace of Time, and Five of Uses, as well as Six of Dome. So when we talk about Poetical Justice, we're going through a bit of a healing phase, okay? Um, either letting go of the past uh, to deal with people passing judgment on you, or passing judgment on yourself and kind of negative thinking, okay? Now this could be the past or it could be something recent, all right? Whatever the case is, is that you're going to be going through a bit of a healing phase, all right, at the beginning of the month. So letting go of that, all right? So know that you are worthy, okay? Know that any ideas that you have that are coming forth, okay, are going to be very good ideas. They're going to be great ideas to start, you know, venturing off and doing things for your own good. All right, and that's reflected here, the Ace of Time. So the Ace of Time is about new beginnings and new ideas, new creativeness, new passions, okay? And being able to open yourself up to those and allowing those to come through, all right? But when we get to the Five of UCs, we are looking at some type of loss, a regression, okay? So you need to do a little bit more healing work get that resolved, get it out of you, okay? Maybe your ideas and and whatnot haven't worked out before in the past and there was people that kind of maybe judged you for that, all right? Or maybe you were really hard on yourself for it not working out. But I'm here to tell you that whatever the ideas, these new ideas that are sparking in you right now, okay, you're gonna end up being successful for them. So don't like toss in the towel just yet. Mm -mm. Don't be tossing in that towel. Write these ideas down, okay? See it through, bring that energy through, manifest it, make it yours, okay? Whatever you're trying to create, and I feel like it's going to be like, almost like a part of your business or perhaps even uh, a new kind of career path, all right? Whatever you're trying to do, know that you are worthy of it. Know that you are meant to be doing this, okay? And don't let others' judgment be the ones to hold you back. Don't even let your own fear hold you back, okay? Because there is success coming at the end. So work towards that. Do the healing that you need to do. Know your self-worth. You have this, okay? Don't let anyone take that away from you. Okay, we're moving on towards the Oracle deck here. Okay. One. 
the change is coming through. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So there is a big change coming through, okay? Um, it's going to be bumpy. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be bumpy, okay? And this is to do with having to do with some self-reflection, maybe even some shadow workings, okay? Um, because we also have rising above the fray, the disowned self, and reconciliations. So when we are doing some self-reflection and shadow work, it is very important that we look at things from all different angles and all different perspectives, all right? Um, just to get a better kind of viewpoint on things and where you stand on certain situations or even on your boundaries, um, your beliefs, okay, things like that. You need to reconnect with yourself, okay? There is a part of you that you have kind of like shoved down for a very long time and you're finding that certain situations are triggering something like this, this part of you which you thought you didn't have anymore you're going to have to work with that okay so you're gonna to have to work with that part of yourself okay every single aspect of yourself whether it be positive and or negative right is part of you you can't just stick with all the positive attributes of yourself and disown the negative Okay, the negative is just as important, okay? We can learn so much from the negative aspects when it comes to setting boundaries, being firm, being assertive, and going forth with what we need to be doing in our lives, okay? And it's also good to um, utilize to kind of disconnect from or disassociate from connections that have perhaps made it toxic for us right now. Okay, so really own all aspects of yourself while you are going through this change and figuring out um, your beliefs, your what your boundaries are, what you will and will not stand for, what you want, okay, things like that. And when we get to the reconciliations, okay, we are reconciling with our past. We're making a, making a truce with it. So, you know... There are some aspects in our past that some of us we cannot forgive, okay? And then there's some aspects of our past that we can be like, okay, yes, that's happened. Heal it and move forward. So for you guys, then this month of October, you're going to be doing a lot of shadow work and a lot of self-healing work as well. And trying to, almost as if transforming into a new you, okay? So... And I hear the word peace, so whatever you're going to be doing, like work-wise on yourself, you're going to be more at peace with who you are and be more at peace when it comes to certain situations that have been very tumultuous, like very kind of like just a lot of um, upheavals in these situations that you've had, like a triggering, okay? So you're going to be more at peace when you have to confront those types of situations again, if that makes sense, okay? Okay, next up we have the cat tarot. And I'm going to pause for a slight coffee break. <laughs> All right, cat tarot, here we go. I have a little bit of coffee. I'm good now. we got for October. The King of Pentacles, oops, the Moon, and the Queen of Cups, as well as oof, 
we've got five of wands. Okay. So yeah, that one was reversed. So they all came at reversed, so it's, I'm just going with what spirit is guiding me with. Okay. So with the King of Pentacles in reverse, for some reason you're not feeling all that comfortable with finances or abundance, or maybe perhaps you are spending way too much, okay? Now's the time to conserve, 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 and that makes sense considering we're going through a big inflation at the moment, okay? And be careful with this moon energy coming through to, um, for your month, okay? Not everything is what it seems. The moon is very illusionary, but it can also be very magical. So take that as you will. If you're trying to manifest, make sure that you manifest um, directly, okay? Um, be direct with what you're trying to manifest. If it is the abundance that you're looking for, be direct with that, okay? The Queen of Cups, we're looking at being a very kind of strong individual when it's about holding one's emotions, okay? So making sure that when we are communicating with others that we kind of keep those emotions stable and balanced, okay? There's some sort of kind of communication whether or not you're trying to figure out like a loan or even like trying to access this abundance from someone. So if you're asking for a favor or asking for a loan, okay, know that you're going to have to keep those emotions balanced, all right? Even though financially and abundantly things are a little bit rocky at the beginning, right? If you remain balanced with those emotions when you ask for some type of um, money or some kind of help in some some way, Make sure that those emotions are balanced before you approach the person, okay? Um, I know it's very difficult to do, especially when you're in a, in a tight situation, okay? With the Five of Wands, we are looking at a bit of playfulness, okay? A little bit of playfulness when it comes to figuring out um, what you want to be doing, okay? This could also mean um, having a bit of a partnership with someone as well. So once again, I'm saying be balanced when it comes to communication and be balanced when it comes to asking for this favor. You might even have to think outside the box while you're doing this, okay? Um, maybe it's not a, even a person. Maybe you have to kind of think out the box by looking at maybe another job or perhaps a different kind of uh, kind of under the table business with uh, whatever your your creations are. Okay, so just be very clear, be balanced when it comes to these abundances and this financial stuff coming through, okay? Um, if you're unstable and negative about it, then yes, abundance is not going to be reaching for you, okay? And as always, I will take a look at what the energy is bringing in for October. Um, it seems like everyone is going through a little bit of something, um, which is okay, right? It's okay. So what's going on for the month of October? What kind of energy are we looking at? Okay. Oh, we're going through some envy. It says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay, so if you're looking at someone and you think, wow, I wish I had this, I wish I had that, why does this person get to have this and I don't, okay, check that MV, okay guys, because what I'm saying right now is that even though someone may seem like they're better off with a certain aspect in their life, they too are going through challenges, okay, not everybody's life is perfect, especially from first glance. Or just looking from the outside so keep that in mind so this was the month of October if you want your own reading you can book with me through my website or you can email me my email is jasmine's eternal circle at gmail.com or you can look at my website with the different services that I provide at www.jasmine's eternal have a great October